Right guys, you asked for it. I'm going to do a quick tour of our 30 foot Cruise America RV. First off, it's a Ford E450 Super Duty. It's got a huge, huge engine in it and it's capable of pulling a lot of weight. It's got a lot of torque. And this thing, when you put your foot down, it does get along. It's got lots and lots of storage in the compartment here. In the rear, there's a ton of storage. There's loads, and all we used it for was our suitcases. Um, also, underneath these compartments here, we've got a hose, spare wheel. This one's a picnic table. And right here is a sewer hose. You've got some lights and there's some electrical outlets right here. As I said, this is massive, but all we used it for was to store our suitcases. But you can fit an absolute ton of gear in here if you were going away for a while. Massive rear storage. Right here's where you put your fresh water. It takes quite a lot of fresh water. That big engine is not diesel. It's unleaded fuel only. And that takes quite a bit of that too. In here is your shoreline. And it's a nice long cable in there. But if you want to run your generator, which has got an onboard generator, I'll show you in a second, you need to be plugging that shoreline into this outlet right here. In here is your sewer outlet, which takes care of your black and your gray water. And we also have another hose just there. And here is your generator. And if you run the generator, it uses the gas from the tank, but they charge you $3.50 per hour of running the generator. And that will come out of your deposit. Okay, up in the cab here. Um, an interesting place to be. I kind of like driving this. It's got very, very soft suspension. So it really rocks round corners and stuff like that. You can't be going fast round corners. Um, and it's wallowy, but it really takes all the bumps out of the ride. So I kind of like it. I'm not sure there. Kind of like it. The stereo, absolute pants, the stereo. But there we are. We've hardly used it. It's got a radio on it. Um, got cruise control now. I've used cruise control most of the time on these big American roads. It's perfect for it. Absolutely perfect. Um, there's a couple of USBs up front. There's even a USB-C up front. But you've got in-cab air conditioning, which is a must when you're in Florida. We're coming out of the cab. Into the main living area. Now, during the day, this is a dinette and sofa. There are four seat belts around the dinette table and they're all lap belts and a further three on the sofa there as well all lap belts are so not three point but that's it's fine it's going slow it's good <laughs> um at night this turns into a small double it's kind of perfect for our 10 year old he's very comfortable on here this pulls out into a double bed <laughs> it is actually quite easy now our 17 year old has found it quite lumpy to sleep on it as a one person bed. So he's preferred just leaving it as a sofa and sleeping just on this section. During the day we store all the extra bedding up here and then at night, <laughs> this is where our 15 year old Harry sleeps. This is George who's in there now. And our um, Christmas tree is up there. <laughs> yes, our inflatable Christmas tree there. We use it as a storage for all things. Um, it's a big bed. You could probably sleep five kids up there if you really wanted to. Um, we've got a 15 year old up there. The mattress is a little bit thin, he says, a right. bit uncomfortable. And there is a window over that end, window over that end and a vent in the roof. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Above the main living area are four large lockers. Each of our boys have one and we've used one for food storage. There's also a slim cupboard above the door as well. Next up is the kitchen. We've got a three burner gas hob, a microwave, which obviously we use as a bread bin most often. This cupboard up here is a great size. We've used it for our plates, our knives, forks, everything. In here, we've used this for pots and pans. This one is cleaning products and barbecue briquettes. And we've got three good sized drawers coming down. The fridge and freezer are a great size. Unfortunately, we found that the fridge doesn't really work on gas very well. It works on shore power brilliantly, um, but it's not great unless you're on power. The freezer's a great size too. And we've used that as our fridge, to be fair, when we've yeah. been off grid, right? Yeah, we've had to, yes. The aircon above me has been an absolute lifesaver during this Florida trip. Um, it works really nicely when we're on electric, on, on shore power. Um, and it also works when we're on generator too. Right, here's your main control panel. Here is the water pump on and off, and this here will show you how charged the batteries are. We've been off grid, so they're down a little. Um, how much is in your fresh? How much is in your black? That does not seem to be um, reading correctly. How much is in your gray? 
that's probably correct. Uh, and how much LPG gas you've got left. Over here is turning your water heater on and off. And here's how you start the generator. And right there, it shows you how many hours the generator has run. And as I say, they'll charge you $3.50 per hour when you use the generator. The heating in this van is really, really efficient. Very, very good and very easy to use. You clip that across there and on it comes and warms this place up in no time. What I would say is if you're off grid, um, it's only running um, about two hours when it's constant. We managed to get through the night when we're off grid, but that's with it kicking in and out just to keep a little bit of warmth in the van. But the heating, 10 out of 10. It has these LED lights throughout the van. Which are cool, they work. You can either have one or two of them illuminated. The shower's a good size. The only negative we could find is that it's a bit low for Steve's head and the big boys. Um, at the moment, because we're handing the van back soon, it's got our kitchen pack in. Now, in the kitchen pack was everything we needed for six people in the van. It cost us about $120. It's got pans, knives, forks, plates, bowls, cups, and a chopping board <laughs> everything you need next up is the toilet which actually i prefer to our british system couple um, of cupboards up there uh -huh. you've got another cupboard for your bits in here uh, and there's a cupboard below as well so there's plenty of storage in the cupboards uh, in here the toilet is a system where you use a hose to empty out the tank and i think i prefer that myself Steve okay. doesn't because he empties it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a nicer flush to the toilet. It's um, bigger it's got as well. Bigger storage, so I think actually it's probably a bit more efficient and a bit nicer than our systems. The rear bedroom is a good size. It's a comfortable size bed. We've both had wardrobes and drawers and over the head lockers as well. We didn't want to buy the the bedroom packs we didn't want to buy the sleeping packs i don't like the idea of having someone else's sleeping bag so we went to walmart and spent 15 dollars per bed on a super soft set that was a flat sheet a bottom sheet and at least two pillowcases there's windows on either side um, and these windows slide open but there's also a slide in screen there to keep the bugs out there are bug screens everywhere really important to remember to close the one across the door as well and again you've got a roof vent up here in the wardrobes they should leave hangers we've put a couple in there but most of my clothes have sat just down there for the time and then there's a couple of good sized drawers down the bottom above the bed there's another couple of cupboards but as you'll see the uh the board from the back has fallen down and nobody's put it back and you can just see the insulation in there so it's very poor um, workmanship gone on there I'm afraid. This van has been a perfect three-week van. Absolutely. It's not one we'd want to own it's inside it's very dated it's not at all to our taste. But it's a budget van it's a budget rental Cruise America are. you know it's $111 per day to rent this and I couldn't find anyone else that could compete on price absolutely you know and yes we had problems at the start but after they saw our video they reached out um, and they certainly compensated us um, in it it was a bit dirty absolutely but a few hours cleaning it we got that spick and span mm -hmm. okay there's some ants in it as well they should have addressed that um, yeah you know so we, we've been holidaying with ants in the van and we've just got used to sharing the van with them to be honest with you but they need to get um, somebody in here to give that a sort before they rent it out next and I hope they do and I hope they pull their socks up for cleaning these vans before they rent them out because it wasn't just us it was the reviews that I'd spotted on Google as well wasn't it yeah th there is a system you are supposed to pay I think it's 190 pounds if it's not clean enough when it comes back you pay 190 pounds and that's your cleaning fee right um, they, they either, in fact, when we arrived to collect it, another man just dropped his keys. They didn't even go around the van with him. So hmm. there was no check-in, no, it was just taken on trust that it was good enough. Absolutely. So we'll see what happens tomorrow when we hand it back. Yes, we will. Would we rent from Cruise America again? Yeah, we would. Absolutely, yeah. we would. Um, you know, we ha we've had them in the past and it was absolutely fine. It was just yeah. this one bad apple that didn't let this out in the condition it should have been. Yeah. So, yes, we do recommend if you're after a budget RV rental in the US, give Cruise America a call. <laughs>